to the home of mathematics. In this video series, we will show you the milestones in the journey of human mathematical discoveries. Carl Weierstrass, 1815-1897 Weierstrass was born in Ostenfeld, Germany on the 31st of October 1815. Weierstrass was a German mathematician known as the father of modern analysis. Despite leaving university without a degree, he studied mathematics and trained as a school teacher, teaching mathematics, physics, botany and gymnastics. He later was awarded an honorary doctorate and became professor of mathematics in Berlin. Weierstrass formalized the definition of the continuity of a function, proved the intermediate value theorem and the Boltzano-Weierstrass theorem, and used the latter to study the properties of continuous functions. Mr. Weierstrass, how could we know and tell whether a function is continuous? Well, in a usual sense, continuity means that a function is within a specified range if the argument x is close enough to the given point. However, in a more general abstract sense, continuity of a function is merely the result of how we define the closeness to a point. Natural numbers are continuous counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but discrete values are not considered to be continuous for real value functions. Think about it. Do you have any idea to construct a continuous sequence for rational numbers or fractions? Who has invented the delta epsilon proof of limits? Cauchy even though did not use exactly the same symbols of delta and epsilon, he did employ the same idea in the analysis of limits. And the present-day use of the symbols delta and epsilon is formally proposed by me, ha, ha. So, you're also to be blamed, as students in general find the delta epsilon proof of limits in analysis so complicated and confusing. Among all your students, who are the most hardworking? George Cantor, Carl Wunge, Hermann Schwartz, and many others. Thank you for watching. Talent is important but how one develops and nurtures it is even more so. See you at the home of mathematics.